We are going to use Visual Basic VBA to simulate this game between X and O. So we will let these places on the board fill automatically with Control Shift G. First one, third move, fourth move, etc. It's not an intelli intelligent form of playing the game because you can probably see already that this will never be a winner. We only check horizontally and vertically, so maybe we can in the future assume when the game is over and finally we say there is no winner. So let's do the second and, and then it gives you an overview x10 times O one zero times in one game, and it will keep doing that for the second game, the third game. Who is the winner? The second one is more intelligent. Control Shift I. It starts the same way, but it says already we know that column D is lost, E is lost, etc. It is all randomness, and so we simulate a game. But it's not completely intelligent, of course. Uh, that would require much more code, and I will leave that up to you. This one stops immediately when all the options have been lost, horizontally and vertically. You may also want to add diagonally, but I won't do that here. So how did we do that? Alt F11 takes you to VBA. You insert a module. And in the module I declare, before I do any subroutines, I declare three variables that stay active, so they keep going up and up and up if they have to, outside the subroutine that we are running. This is the first subroutine, the non-intelligent one. We declare a few variables, then we set O board, which is of the range type, to range cells 1,1, that is cell A1, through cells 5,5. Then we talk to that O board with O board, and at the end you have to say end with. So we clear the current region of that board, so it's empty. We determine that the borders around our Excel thick. We center it and then we do a do loop and we say player equals not be player that means each time you do a do loop it changes from true to false false to true then we do another do loop we do a rand between function in i row in i column we put another rand between, between 1 and 5. So that's how we determine randomly which row and which column at what intersection do we want something. If that combination is empty, then put in there, I row, I column, if the B player is true, then put an X in there, otherwise here. Remember, B player keeps changing all the time. True, false, false, true. And then exit this do loop. Okay. Then we need a timer. I time is a long variable. I time is, the timer is the, the number of seconds since midnight, plus one. So that means we take one second between each loop. We do until the timer, the number of seconds since midnight, is greater than I time. We do events, that means just keep doing things, and loop. So it keeps looping, and every minute it does something. Every second it does something. For I equals, and now we are going to just get some information in there, for I equals 1, 2, 5, if the count if function from Excel, worksheet function count if, if the, that number of x's is 5, then the message box says x is the winner. 
we bring ix up by 1. ix is the one we had declared globally. That means it keeps remembering between the different subs. And you do something similar for the other ones. I don't think I have to explain all of that. And then at the end, after this for loop, we count the number of blanks in O board. Is that zero, then there is no winner. And don't forget to close end with, that we started with with board to end with. Then I total is I total plus one. That is again a global variable. And then we report. Now the more intelligent one. We declare variables again. We set O board. We do a with statement. This is all the same. We switch each time B player from true to false and reverse. We create a random number at certain rows and columns at the intersection. We do a timer again. And then we have to do a little more for i equals 1 to 5. We do the count if function. If it's greater than or equal to 1, and at the same time the zero one is greater than or equal to 1, then we say in the next cell outside the board, that is a column 6, lost, and in this case row 6, that is outside the board, lost. Then if that is the case, we say there is no winner, exit the sub, then we do some message box information. And finally we count the blanks. If that is zero, then we say the, there is no winner, exit, do. And that's all we have to do. I know it's a lot of code, but if I do here a control shift I again, Finally, we have a winner, because this row is completely filled. Th there is much more to this, but I will let you play with it yourself. I think I gave you enough ideas. Make it a more intelligent game, and make it more perfect. Do whatever you want. I wish you good luck. It's quite a challenge.